I'm glad to see you found the church without any problem, man. Yeah, there wasn't any problem at all, Pastor. Uh, well, good morning and welcome to our humble church. Well, thank you, and I'm really excited about this opportunity. Yeah, I am too, my brother. So, are uh, the deacons in Fellowship Hall? Uh, not exactly. Well, where are they? Um, uh, they're kind of busy today. Wait, they're too busy to meet with the new head deacon? Let me explain to you. Uh, most of them feel like they should be head deacon. But wait a minute, listen, don't concern yourself. There's no worries about that. I'm the new pastor. I make up all the rules around here. Wait a minute, man. It sounds like you have a power struggle on your hands, and I'm not sure if I'm interested in trying to fit in. No, 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 my brother, listen. Like I say, don't worry about that. What I got to do is explain to them is that we need you to survive. You need me? For what? Uh, members. Let, let me explain. When Pastor Jones left, man, most of the congregation went with him. But I'm fairly certain that once you come on board, most of your congregation will come over with you. You know, especially the givers, man. The ones that's going to bring that money. What? Oh, come on, man. Pastors have to look sharp. Threads cost money and cars, too. I can't have people see me drive up in that junk I've been driving. Now, listen, I'm going to take care of you, too, in the process. You know, you could use the offerings that's coming in to help the needy. That would help build a church, wouldn't it? My brother, my brother. Obviously, you hadn't seen my new first lady. Man, that's my queen, man. She's going to need money for clothes and furniture for our new apartment. Hey, congratulations, man. I didn't know you had gotten remarried. Uh, well, we're not exactly, but, but we are talking about it. But wait, you just said our apartment, didn't you? Well, that's kind of our little secret around here. But we, listen, but we are going to get married just as soon as her divorce is final. Divorce? Wait a minute, man. You taking me in the territory I'm not sure about at all. Oh, come on, Deacon Hall. Man, the world is changing. Yeah, the world may be changing, but not the church. You're wrong, man. Hadn't you heard of grace? Yeah. But not grace to hide unrepentant sin. Hey, man, I'm not feeling very comfortable at all right about now. Oh, nonsense, man. You're going to feel better once I show you your new deacon's office and parking place. Hey, and once you get that congregation over here, man, we're going to buy you a new robe, man. A robe? Yeah, come, come on, man. We're going to work it out. Hey, it'll be all right. Everything's fine. Jesus. Whoa, you look like you lost your best friend. Honey, I don't know if I fit in anywhere anymore. Oh, honey, you're always fit in here. Would another piece of cake and a cup of coffee help? A uh, cup of coffee would be fine. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. How about a little sugar? Now that would be on time. I'm talking about sugar for your coffee. Thank you. You're welcome. Besides, Elena will be home soon from her job interview. Where is she at the high school? Mm-hmm. So what grade is she going to be teaching this year? She doesn't care. Only if they hire her as a track coach. Hmm, that would be her dream job. Sure is. Speaking of dream jobs, how does your meeting go? Well, it didn't go as I expected, that's for sure. Tell me about it. Honey, I don't even know where to begin. Did you like the other deacons? I wouldn't know. None of them showed up. What? How many are there? Four. Four, and none of them showed up? 
Why not? Timmonson said they were busy, but I don't know if I buy that. But one thing I know for sure, there seems to be a power struggle to see which one of the deacons is going to climb to the top. Now, I know Timmonson promised me the head deacon job, but I don't know if the job is mine yet. And how is that any different than what you've been trying to do? At any rate, doesn't the congregation have something to say in all of this? What congregation? They left with the old pastor. So you mean to tell me there are a lot of leaders and no followers? You know, I hate to admit it, but it resembles our church before you know who came. Mm. I mean, it's totally deserted and they have no activities for the youth. And that's what you want. That's what's going to make you happy to be the head deacon over what amounts to nothing. You know, that's not even what bothers me the most. What is? Mary, I don't even know where to begin. We'll start somewhere. Well, they want my family to come with me. Oh, we both know that's not going to happen. But they also want me to convince some of the congregation to come, especially the givers. The pastor said that he and the first lady need to look good in their new positions, and that's going to take a lot of money. So not only do they want to steal our deacons, but they want to steal our congregation for money? Lamar, you do not know how angry I am getting. It just feels like my head is about to explode. If you think that's bad, this is really going to blow your mind. He and the First Lady need the tithe money so that they can redecorate their children's bedrooms. And get this, they're not even married, but they're living together. It's a big mess. Lamar Hall, if you do not get on that phone and call Pastor Lynn right now. For what? So that I can go crawling back on my hands and knees? I don't think so. Stop it. You know she's not like that. Mary, if I had to face her right now, the little pride I had would vanish. And that wouldn't be such a bad thing. It will probably spare you the complete fall that pride causes. All right. What about talking to Pastor McKnight? No, I don't, I don't think so. Lynn wouldn't mind. She wouldn't care who brought about restoration. She only wants us to be family again. Besides, the church misses you, hard-headed and all. How about I'll go get that number? I don't know, Mary. I don't know.